Taurus, it's your monthly reading for March 2024. And, you know, you'll be loving this because it's very all green themed and very um, earth like energy coming through, which I oddly got for Pisces being a water sign all the back to basics so I've even haven't fussed around with the tablecloth here I couldn't choose and then I've gone with the old poker table top and just thought yeah you know it deserves to have its day so maybe uh, that is interesting because I saw um, vintage things and thrift shops in here and finding a gem in um, somewhere like a garage sale stopping by somewhere and there's just something that's really of of value that you think wow that's something i was looking for or something i would love that's just there um maybe it's even scrap metal yard something like that or a uh, something that's gone astray with the car and secondhand place has it and it's much cheaper than what you thought that could be relevant for you taurus i've got a <laughs> Get going slow poke is what I heard and I saw a, a poking like a, a is it a fire poker that the old um, from the fireplace and someone wanting to give you a a, um, a jolt up in the you know up the rear to sort of say get going and uh, again I was feeling and I saw this as well for I think it was for Pisces about being creative and that you're missing something Taurus I have had this for you before so there's somehow that you could be some craft or something skill that you could be doing more of or somehow that 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 is going to have this um money fortune that could come come in and you're almost there but you need a poke in the rear a fire poker coming in here for you for your Taurus which is quite which is quite funny I have uh, made my own uh, incense sticks at a workshop at a yoga studio not too far from here in Newport if you're, if you're in Australia in uh, Melbourne and it's at a yoga studio called Think Focus Act. They've got a workshop where you can make um, incense that's coming up and I felt like I was just under so much stress with um, an anatomy exam for, for yoga and I decided instead of keeping going, I needed to pull back and stop what I thought I needed to do, which is more and more and more study, and I needed to change direction. And I'm just reflecting on that for you, Taurus, because it feels as though you're thinking in one way and instead you almost need to do the opposite to be able to bring the change of energy that you need. So it's like you're pushing in the wrong kind of direction, and that's probably why you're getting... The poke as though your guides that's how i'm hearing it now the poke is from your guides they're saying we're we're giving you the you're not listening to something taurus that you're being shown or presented with and you're sort of it's almost like you're like yeah i think i've heard that before but i, I haven't been listening you've got the cancer card here the chariot so the number seven could be of relevance, but this could be, and I was thinking about uh, you needing to um, move along with something, getting this poke, but also that there could be a journey, just a, not a, you know, it could be quite, could be a sort of a short journey. Funny that I was thinking about the yoga because this always reminds me of this Egyptian kind of um, lady in almost a, uh, you know, a kind of a downward dog chaturanga type pose yoga could be really beneficial to you as well maybe you're going to do or maybe you know someone who does archery as well perhaps a Sagittarius is relevant along with this cancer sign um, energy and I'm just feeling like again um, <laughs> I'm thinking about Red Bull gives you wings that's so silly because I don't uh, promote any of those sort of ener energy type drinks. But it's like you, um, it's like you need to have some energy behind you to get going, um, which will give you the wings to take flight. That's more of how I'm hearing it. Interesting. Pisces got this in the exact same placement. Judgment. Something's going to come around now where it was unfair. And it's going to turn again your angels are watching over you rainbows could be significant you could be seeing them this could be to do with uh, you might be 
somebody in a in a same sex or a type of relationship uh you could be part of the lgbtqi plus community or somebody could be relevant that's um in that as well which is why i'm focusing in on the rainbows but a whole lot of spectrums i'm hearing about um autism too that could be something that's needed uh to be judged maybe your child has um finally getting a diagnosis that's going to be uh, able to move them forward in you know getting the right assistance and help um something that was unfair is is being set right but it's over time it's not going to happen quickly you want it to come in really quick but i'm feeling as though there's a bit of a battle still to go so we've got the three of swords here so somebody doesn't agree with this with this judgment with somebody else isn't seeing it from your perspective there taurus so perhaps um you know, perhaps you're in the group of people who uh, lost their jobs unfairly in the last couple of years. Maybe that's what, what the judgment is that it's coming through. It could be to do with the way that you were earning money and how things have gone kind of backwards. And you're hoping for a fresh start and a new beginning. And people thought that you were a fool for however you responded to this. Um, but you've got the last laugh. It's like, again, this feeling of yoga, like you've seen it from another perspective. You did the, you did the handstand and you were able to, you know, hold things in your toes here and you're able to keep the vultures at bay and you've gotten away with it all. It's quite, um, an interesting full card that I'm getting here for you. It's really quite funny because it's a, a leap of faith that you took and you know the pink kind of colors here somehow you're going to be vindicated for whatever this is maybe you're in court maybe there's some judgment that's coming through for something else even and um i have a good feeling about it that you will have a bit of a battle but somehow you'll be seen for your different perspective we've got the empress card which also came out for Aries um, fertility it could be to do with um, you know birthing something new birthing could be a child that's involved of course but feeling like you're in your power like the empress is in in control here like she's you know bearing fruit she's actually putting um, putting something out there that, that others are and I, I just can't help but feel as though people are noticing and they're stone cold with you Taurus on the way they feel they haven't quite worked out why you're seeing it from a different perspective it feels as though um it feels like if there's a workplace scenario where you have to deal with others they're quite uh, like you don't get much out of them they're almost made out of stone like they don't really they're not kind of your people that's how I want to put it they're they just don't, and I think that could be why you're getting the poke up the bum there, um, Taurus, why you're getting the poke and why your guides are saying, hey, time to move it along, you know, wrong wrong place, it's not balanced. Uh, the two of pentacles or the two of discs here, you trying to juggle everything. Again, this motherhood could be coming up, twins could be relevant. Uh, the number two, two threes coming up a lot, um, 20 tens and sevens if you're looking for 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 your numbers here and bottom of the deck yeah we've got another more kind of 10 um energies as well but um yeah i can see here this juggling trying to do sort of everything and just feeling as though you're um you're kind of being unable to break through into what you want to um because there's been, yeah, it's like this is waiting to come down so that you can move ahead. It feels as though you've gotten a bit stuck and now's the time to actually jump in the chariot and move forward, moving in a new direction. Interesting. 
juggling money as well. It's hard to find what you need, especially at the moment in the, you know, the, the economic climate that we have as well. That could be um, that you're not, you need to make the effort to maybe travel to, to find things that are cheaper. If you're on a budget, maybe you've got to travel. It seems like it's too far to go, but you'll actually save a whole lot of money that will be able to make things um, fairer for you, which could be a message for you too. So we've got here um, the Shaman of Wands. So this is quite beautiful because it's that real fiery sort of um, energy here for you. So it could be that a Leo, a Sagittarius or an Aries is relevant. It could be coming up in Aries season where this goes until as well, Taurus, but they could really be of significance here. I'm seeing as well this um, craft. I'm seeing this as a basket as, as something that you could make to sell or something that you could find that is of uh, value. Lovely uh, raw kind of energy here too. Birds um, might be lucky and um, significant. Again, feathers. I mean, I'm always collecting the feathers. Don't forget to to notice when they're, they're there as uh, signs for you as well. That could be helpful because I'm seeing again, this is a poker. Oh, wow. That as an actual looks like a, a poker from the fireplace that they were sort of saying. Wear green, Taurus. Um, I've been getting that quite that message quite a lot as well. This is a a nice um, you know if if it is a an energy a masculine energy that could be here to help you as well, Taurus, um, in some way to do with this judgment too. Could be a father figure. Could be a you know, somebody who's around you that is willing to to assist or can somehow give you a sort of a bit of a leg up or boost you in some direction that is uh, helpful, have an idea or have a place to go where, oh yeah, I've seen those before, you know, you could make some money there. That's what I'm sort of feeling, Taurus. Maybe that short trip as well. Um, it could be a little weekend away or something that you might want to plan now as well for later on. But um, it could be really significant to travel to see something. Just going to grab you a uh, fairy forest. Don't forget that there's some lucky energy that comes up in the middle of this month too, Taurus. You've got your St. Patrick's Day. I mean, I'm always tuning in on that because I quite like the St. Patrick's Day um energy the sort of irish uh when it comes to forests and fairies and elves and things uh here we go the elf queen speaking of elves the elf queen coming in number 13 could be of uh, a lucky number for you or of relevance to introverted burden and responsibility so just let me read out the message for you for this one from the Lucy Cavendish deck to see whether there's something else here for you. So the Elf Queen, number 13, introverted burden responsibility. You have responsibilities that have accumulated to the point that you no longer feel free. You have dimmed your own bright light and the world longs for you to shine once again. One by one, I ask you to take these burdens, anything that feels heavy, whose energy does not come from love but from fear and demands and expectations that no longer meet your needs and release them with love. There is no rejection in this gesture. It is simply time to re-establish your own personal boundaries. You may even be carrying burdens that rightly belong to other people. Please release these now. Without this clearing, you may well feel you are carrying too much on your own shoulders and are unable to see the path ahead of you. As you release, the beginnings of the sweet and tender freedoms that are your birthright will make themselves known to you. You are now free to love and care for others more effectively as you will be acting out of love, not forcing yourself. If you clearly ask for support, other people will love and support you in all that you do. That is a great message because that feel, feeling of being um, overwhelmed and stretched and pushed is really relevant to you. I think there, Taurus as well, and the Empress here is relaxing 
and you know you're having to do sort of somersaults to to get around things so really important energy for you and why i'm seeing so much of the the green that there is um protection and support around you so having these clear crystals the whiter crystals your like your tree agates with you anything any green crystals at all and clear ones for intuition are going to be really great for you this month getting into your creative projects you know doing some things that you love going fossicking around for things that you love um that's going to be really nice energy for you and, and knowing that you're supported i think that's important to know and you've also got from the forest fay nadia turner little cards the gatekeeper let go all things are possible on the borderlands again look at the poker it's almost exactly the same as the one on the bottom of the deck here with the end here look at those that's your guide saying you know we're here poking away i'll read it again so the gatekeeper let go all things are possible on the borderlands so yeah everything is is possible for you it's funny because um my dear taurus friend uh vero from mind body aroma i've been putting this on because i felt as though my neck and back simply calming and relaxing so mind body aroma yum the um lavender in here is just beautiful and there are some greenish colored little crystals in here green the greens and whites that have been perfect for for me to sort of stay nice and and relax with that mint and um lavender sort of beautiful thing that i've had going on there so i've needed the taurus energy to kind of be able to ground myself i hope that the messages were useful for you taurus please um comment down and let me know what's going on what the judgments could be where you need is it judgment of yourself do you need to to shift do you need to start telling people to give you a hand you know it's hard to do it all on your own as well so let me know what is going on i would love to hear from you uh, thanks for liking sharing and subscribing it helps me to grow my channel and i'll check in with you soon cheers taurus